Hello class, hello Dr. Benichick, good morning. Um, sorry this is late, had a little trouble getting off the mountain because of the coronavirus going on, but I'm here now and let's get this started. So today I wanna to talk to you about patient-centered care. Um, as an EMT, um, as I was doing transports, I was providing care, I didn't really realize a lot of the things I was doing until class started and all of a sudden now there's a, kind of like a name for everything. Um, so what is patient-centered care approach? Patient-centered care approach is providing care that is respectful, responsive to the individual's preferences, needs, and values, and ensuring the patient's values guide all clinical decisions. So in this patient care model, I feel like um, we focus more on the individual and basically their emotions, their support systems, um, and also physically what's wrong with them. Kind of like the biopsychosocial bio model, but th j this is just a type of approach. I wanna evaluate the person's emotions. I wanna make sure they feel comfortable. I wanna make sure they feel like they can make decisions for themselves. It's kind of hard in the scenario I'm about to talk about because this was a 16 year old named Jane Doe. Um, she was an attempted suicide um, adolescent and this is about her second or third time. As I get to the room, I see that she looks very scared. I feel like she looks really uneasy. And I said, hey, my name is Miguel and I'm EMT. I'm gonna transport you today. I can't wait to take you outside. It's a beautiful day. Blue, the sky's blue, birds are chirping, and the sun's out. She looked at me and absolutely smiled. All of a sudden she went from just down the dumps to just like, wow, this guy like actually kind of gives a crap about me and is gonna get me out of here. Then I asked her questions like, hey, like what school do you go to? What grade are you in? Um, What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Um, is your family coming? Just like questions about her. I didn't want to talk about what was going on with her. I didn't want to talk about anything negative. I obviously knew what was going on, but I just want to make her feel better as a person. Um, as this unfolds, I feel like you break the ice with every question. You want to, people want to talk about themselves and patient care approach. Like, we want them to feel empowered and important. And so as these questions unfold, we finally start leaving. Next thing you know, we're in the box. And I look over at her, I was like, hey, you like music? And she's like, yeah, I love music. And I was like, what do you like? She's like, uh, rap. I was like, okay, we can listen to the rap. Let's do it. And I was like, what's your favorite um, song? And she goes like, um, you think you can put on Blue Face Baby? Tatiana and I was like let's get this rocking so all of a sudden I turn on blue face on our little Yui boom all of a sudden she starts smiling once again we start slapping in the box everyone's gigging everyone's having fun the girls having fun I ended up having to take a pause and be like oh I gotta take your blood pressure and all your vitals and everything and she's like no go for it like it's all good anyways um I feel like this patient-centered approach is pretty relevant to class because I feel like it's just kind of giving a shit and making sure the patient feels like she's important rather than just like an object that's getting transported or getting worked on or being restrained or just feeling like crazy. And I feel like she looked at me as we dropped her off and she said, hey, like, thanks, boys, because it was me and my two other partners. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. And that really sat home for me. And as she said that, I feel like in the medical world, I feel like providers need to just know these little things that really add up. Just like the most little things, just asking questions about the person, person's life makes them feel a lot better. Asking the person, um, giving them an ultimatum, would you like to do this or would you like to do this? And it just makes them feel a lot better about the situation. Um, I know this video is kind of short, but I just felt like it was pretty important to address because now after being in this class, I see a lot of the things that I've thought about doing or tried to do. And now there's kind of just like a label for everything. Um, once again, my name is Miguel Pacheco. This is my last vlog. Thank you class. Thank you, Bernard Chick. And everyone stay safe out there. Corona 2020, we're living it.